are you stuck in a Red Sea moment? Maybe I'd better define it. Uh, Robert Morgan's book, Red Sea Rules, talks about when we find ourselves stuck between a rock and a hard place. The Israelites had been uh, released from Egypt, and they were encamped on the shore of the Red Sea. And as Pharaoh's army pursued them, they were stuck between the Red Sea and the advancing army of Pharaoh. They panicked. Did you bring us out here to die in the desert? Were there not enough graves in Egypt? And Moses told them to be still. That God would fight for them that day. And he did. He delivered in a big way, a miraculous way. And so there are lessons to learn from that. Um, and, and the first of which I would say is find ways to glorify God, not seek our own comfort. And we have a tendency to want to take the easy way out, to look for the shortcut, to avoid all suffering, to avoid change. Romans 5, uh, verses 3 through 5, send us on a little different course. And it reads, not only so, but we also glory in our suffering because we know that our suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out in our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. So this is for believers. We have this hope. Um. Did you notice the sequence? Suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance produces character. Character produces hope. And, and that's what we're wanting, the hope. The hope is a product, the result, the, the consequence of suffering. We can benefit from doing hard things. The Holy Spirit and God's love is, fills our hearts. And so we have a source of hope that the rest of the world just can't understand. What hardship are you facing? Are you trying to find a way to get out of it, to minimize it? Maybe there's a lesson there. We grow through our hardship. It produces perseverance. Perseverance produces character, and character produces hope. Are we trying to skip the process? Just give me hope. Maybe there's ways you can grow in your perseverance, and therefore your hope. Think about that. As the difficulties mount in your life, wherever they may come, some are great and some are small, but we are never without hope as long as we have Christ in our hearts. It's a secret. It's not, it's not secret, but it's just not common unless you have the Holy Spirit. That is the, that is the source of our hope. We hope that you'll join us this Sunday for either our contemporary or traditional service at 10 o'clock. Uh, join us online, be a part of the online community. But whatever you do, follow Jesus and share him with others. Have a great day.